progressives. This is your trigger warning. Welcome back, all you thought criminals. And those of you who are new, welcome. Normally, I don't comment on cultural items such as this movie, but I think I will. Uh, Andrew Breitbart, rest his soul, was right. Politics is downstream from culture. And these morons are spoiled, rotten brats. They call you every name in the book. The stuff that isn't even repeatable on YouTube. And then when they put out a movie and put it in your face that you suck, you suck, you suck, you're a horrible person, I think you're ridiculous, I think you're non-human, I think you're an a-hole, all those things, and you're a racist and a homophobe. And then when I make my movie, and 80-plus percent of the population you've alienated, and they don't give you your money, you get pissed off. Isn't that an interesting concept? So you wonder why what happens, and you're the victim again. You're the victim again. I'm glad you're not my lawyer negotiating something because you suck. You suck at it. And then when people say, you know what, no, you know, this guy calls me all kinds of names. God knows what he really thinks. So I'm not going to give him my money. Thanks anyway. I'll pass. You've had enough of the woke bullshit. Yes, we've had enough of the woke bullshit. I'm the victim here. Look at this moron. No, there's nothing wrong with being a clown and being funny. Robin Williams is one of the biggest clowns that ever lived, and I thought he was a brilliant comedian. Absolutely brilliant. So being a clown is fine. Uh, you know, he's trying to, uh, uh, I guess, uh, yeah, show his appeal. <laughs> Bad joke there. Sorry. And there he is, complaining and whining on all the media that, you know what? I'm the victim here. I didn't do anything except for be gay. And, 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 and you people suck. And just because I called you all kinds of names and I hate your guts doesn't mean you can do this to me. But my focus is not on Trump voters. There's no way in the next 48 hours I'm going to miraculously get someone who's racist to, you know, be not racist. I am sick of Donald Trump. I am sick of everyone that associates with him. Let's talk about that. I'm going on the tour, so to speak, the talk shows that promote my movie. The movie's bombing. So instead of blaming myself and the writers of the movie and how we shove this ideology in your face, and if you don't agree with us 100%, and I mean 100% on everything we say, you are homophobe, you're a, you're a hall, you're this, you're that, uh, you're, you're a racist, uh, you you hate, you hate, you hate, you hate. Meanwhile, you're the one that's sprouting the hate. And then you go on your tour and tell everybody how much they suck. And, and I'm wondering if the the media people, I should say the, the advertised promotion people in the movie, uh, the, excuse me, the, the movie production company that made this movie are going, what in the world, what the are you doing? This thing is tanking. We're going to lose millions. We'll be lucky to break even, let alone make any money. What possibly are you thinking? It, it's amazing to me. Truly amazing. You've had enough of the woke bullshit. And then this moron comes out with this. Here's a tweet he had from, you can see, the day before Biden was sworn in. January 19th, 2021. And here's what it reads. Let's, uh, let's take a good look at it. Trump voters, his whole family, anyone that chose to work with him, and every single Trump voter. The rest of us need to make sure that this never happens again. We've been warned, and guess what? I'm still with her, you misogynist American dummies, onwards. This is about a mentally ill woman that went after a Supreme Court justice nominee. And he says, well, wait a minute now. How come you guys didn't see my movie? Just because I alienated 70 plus million people and turned off half of the rest. That's no excuse. You owe me. I'm a spoiled brat that's been treating my parents like crap. And then when they don't kiss my ass and give me what I want, I stomp my feet and get mad. 
Yep, that's what it is. And then we get this. That's just the world we live in, unfortunately. Even with glowing reviews, great Rotten Tomato scores, and a cinematic score, etc., straight people, especially in certain parts of the country, just didn't show up for, for bros. And that's disappointing. But it is what it is. No, you're the fault. Vast majority of the country. When I say vast majority, I'm well over 90% plus of the people don't care that you're gay. Nobody cares. There's been tons of movies with gay characters in them, gay and lesbian uh, characters. And they were just part of the movie. They weren't front and center of the movie. It, it, it's a, it, most movies that people like with gay people in them, it's a m good movie with gay people in it. Being gay is right from the forefront of this. It's about being gay. And everything we say and do, you have to laugh. You have to give us your money. No, the movie sucked. It's as simple as that. And you alienated people. It's amazing to me. Having gay characters in movies is not the issue. The issue is how you treat people and what you say to them. It's incredible. Absolutely incredible. And there he is, Mr. Funny. Mr. Banana Man. It, it just go, you know, I, I don't know what else to say. These people live in this bubble, and it's not like it's it's... It's culture that I don't like. The Deer Hunter is my favorite movie of all time, still is to this day. And it has Robert De Niro in it, who's a huge, huge <laughs> hole, and Meryl Streep. How do you think I feel? But still a great movie. I think The Godfather Part Two is one of the best movies ever made, and Robert De Niro is brilliant in it. I'm a huge Jennifer Lawrence fan. Huge. The stuff she's come out with lately just... I just put my head down and hit it against the table. They're incredibly talented people. They're just clueless. Absolutely clueless. I'm a huge Hunger Games series fan. I thought she was great in Silver Linings Playbook. Would Robert De Niro might add, and she got the Academy Award. So most of us on the conservative side can put away our animosity towards what you think and believe. You people can't. If you think like me... Or you're a huge oh, You're a racist. You're a misogynist. You're a homophobe. You're an Islamophobe. You're a, you're a phobophobe, whatever the hell that means. These people just don't get it. So to finish this up, yeah, it's all our fault. Yep, it's all us. Do a little reflection. These morons are so self-unaware. You know, it's like going up to a girl you like and you want to ask her out. And you go up to her and say, you know, I think you dress like crap. I think the clothes you wear look ridiculous. I mean, they're way out of style. They look terrible on you. Your hair, I don't like it at all. Those glasses are ridiculous. Oh, by the way, can we go out sometime? Maybe have a cup of coffee or a drink? And then when she says no, you turn her and say, what's the matter? You're too good for anybody? And this is the way these people are. You've had enough of the woke bullshit. We certainly have. And until the next time, goodbye and good luck.